How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome to one uh, more episode of uh, the King's Cave 80. How's everybody doing? How you doing, Carlos? Ah, uh, man. Tired, but here. Oh, man. Uh, Isaias? How are you guys? How are you? I'm doing, I'm doing really good. And how are you, how are you guys doing? Um, I'm, I'm barely, I'm barely, <laughs> I'm, barely <laughs> man, I'm barely here. You're hanging by the man. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, we almost, uh, ever since we started the podcast, we haven't missed the Wednesday. We almost did this. We're one. We almost this missed close, it, man. man. It was. Close. Uh, it's, 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 it wasn't it, my fault, guys. Just letting no, you know. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> the age just started like, I don't know, man. Okay, like, okay. So we're talking about that. I was, I was uh, oh, man, a couple of weeks ago, my back was hurting so bad. And I was like, no, I can't handle that. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. Once the back pain goes away, mm -hmm. freaking ankle the size of a, of a tennis ball man like i was working and i was walking a lot and i i don't, I don't even know how how it happened but it's called old age yeah man for real <laughs> what you say the new 40 the I, new 40 is the 50 now or yeah the, the 40s is the new 50 <laughs> <laughs> man and and i've been i honestly this is the uh i told you when you came in like i haven't been in the cave for a couple of days because i couldn't even couldn't even walk oh man it was bad how it you was feeling bad. now See, you seem a little better. I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit better, but I feel like I'm, I'm a little bit off. I know um, what I'm gonna get you for your birthday. No, I know exactly what I'm gonna get you a for cane, a cane, a cane, yeah, a you, pair you, of crutches, a cane. Something like that. You're gonna look like Master Roshi with the cane. <laughs> exactly what I'm gonna get you. I'll take it. I'll take it. I, I need it. I need it. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, my birthday is coming. Um, oh yeah. Uh, when is it? Yeah, I think. I think uh, it's gonna be the Sunday. Sunday, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yes sir happy birthday happy th birthday oh thank you thank you thank you um yeah man, is, I'm, 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 I'm a week away from my birthday and and you're feeling it now huh you're already I'm feeling, feeling it. it yeah really bad <laughs> but yeah we almost we almost made a miss a podcast uh but but now here we are mm -hmm. standing and well sitting but I was about keep, to come and do on. a podcast by myself with these signs. Man, you, uh, you uh, can take a hike. We're going to get, uh, yeah, we're gonna get uh, <laughs> at some point with uh, Carlos Zuin and a monologue <laughs> for the podcast. How you been, brother? Oh, man. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about the... So I just did the Comic Palooza show. We want to talk about that a little bit. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. How was... How was I, I, I know you went to... As a vendor. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a big show for those that, that, that don't know. The show is called uh, Comic Palooza. It's the biggest show in, in Houston. Yeah. Uh, it has like a Comic Con vibe. Yeah. There's yeah. like a lot of people, uh, celebrities, you know, coming over, signing, signing stuff yeah. and taking pictures. This year, um, Marty McFly and, and Dr. Chris, Emmett Brown. Yeah, Christopher Lloyd came. Christopher Lloyd. And, um, I didn't even know, you know, Robert England. I, I have a bunch of Freddy Krueger stuff, and I didn't take nothing. Oh man! Yeah, yeah. I, but to wait in line, I ah, I don't know how the patience. You're not that. a fan boy, that's why. Yeah, uh, that's that's you're like me. You're like me. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know celebrities and all that, and, and, but I'm not a fan boy. I'm not like, I, I'm not gonna make. I'm not about to make a line. The old, there's probably only one person that I'll probably wait a line for, and that's probably be like if, if I had seen Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Yeah, that he will the, never do that. He yeah, will but never that, do that. That would be the only. But other than that, I mean, I I would love to have um you know um Robert England sign some of my stuff, but uh, yeah. I, I don't want to wait. I yeah, there was there that. was the people from from Back in the Future. Yeah, those people from The Office. Mm -hmm. uh, Zoo is a pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty a lot good lineup. Of, yeah. Lot of good pa yeah, panels and all that. So it's kind of like the biggest show in in in, mm -hmm. in, in, in town. In town, yeah. It's a three day event. Unfortunately, I missed it. Yeah, I because know. of work and the day after work like i said i couldn't even walk so i had my ankle pretty swollen mm. uh but you were there how was it well the experience i mean this is my first actually i never been to comic palooza but the first time i go i go as a vendor mm. so i mean the experience wasn't bad i expected a little bit more as a vendor oh as a vendor okay as a vendor but the show, honestly, it was great. I think for for spectators, mm -hmm. for you know families, it was. It seemed like a lot of fun, a lot of cosplaying. I never seen some so many people dressed up. It was, <laughs> it was crazy. You should have should have uh, cosplay as a Harley Quinn or something like that. Man. <laughs> no, there, there, there were some there were some guys dressed as Harley <laughs> Quinn. <laughs> it, wouldn't, it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been nothing strange about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, it, it was it was a lot of fun. It, I mean, it was like I said, a, a show. 
more for and it is a show for for you know for the people. Yes. The vendors, the vendors, of course, you know, their their goal is to try to sell, sell, sell. But you know, this is this the only thing that I have a, a not an issue with, but you know, I was a little bit down about is there wasn't that many uh uh vintage vintage yeah vintage. I, 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 that's what i was gonna say you know those type of even though i would love to be a one day uh, uh comic con or, or even a comic palooza i could have been there on friday it's, it's not a show that to me as a buyer maybe as a fan but like again it's weird because i'm not a fan boy so mm-hmm. i'm not gonna make a line to get thing sign yeah. or i'm not gonna be waiting for just a picture uh, so that is out of the for me and then what else to see the 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 vendors but i know there's gonna be very few vintage and then that's where i feel like uh, to me it's like uh, and, and, well, now and it's, the entrance it's expensive compared to yeah, a vintage price, yeah. show pricey it's a little pricey the price for a vintage show where mm-hmm. everything is vintage it's so much lower than yeah than this type of events and I mean it's expensive for me since I'm lo- going to look for vintage mm-hmm. and there's not a lot of vintage and there's gonna be expensive the entrance, parking, entrance fee. yeah the parking every, yeah, everything so, yeah. so I don't know I feel like I'm not bummed that I missed it. So, so, and and so that's that's what I'm getting at is is being that this was my first time actually being at the show and and experiencing it, and as a vendor more so. I know I wouldn't want to go as a as a spectator or as as a as a buyer either. You wouldn't know. So you, okay, no. and for the same reason what you just said, exact same reason. I'm not I'm not willing to go and wait hours and hours to get an autograph or take a picture. You know, I, I want to go and buy some cool stuff. And as we mentioned before, when you start involving with your collection, you're looking for that certain specifics, fi- specific figure. Yeah, and, and yeah. you can't. You, I mean, it's cool to see stuff. I mean, of course, vintage is always going to be fun. Of, but yeah. but when you want to actually buy and collect, you know, that's going to yeah. drive you to be like, do I want to go? Is it worth going? And honestly, like I said, the vendors, the vintage vendors were all good. I mean, there's no complaint about that. They have, have some good stuff. But of course, you know, at the end of the day, you you're looking for that certain piece, mm-hmm. and and for other people, I mean, there's might be new vintage collectors, which is perfect for them. They're, they're, I'm just speaking for myself. Yeah. So I I'm pretty sure there might be some, some other people out there that that were happy to go out there and, and find new things or, or find a piece that they're starting with their collection. I mean, yeah. it's, and that's the whole purpose. But my thing is, I, I seen and I heard. You know, you watch the people. I watch people. You know, they're the how the way they interact and the body language and it seemed like you know they, they were there more for their kids and their kids were more for Funko Pops yes anime mm-hmm. and so I mean the vintage they were looking at it but their kids were talking come on let's go let's go let's oh, go so yeah. they were hold on I used to play with this a little okay okay let's go let's go <laughs> so so you know there was a lot of that a lot of that going on um you know, there's so, so much stuff. It, everywhere you looked, every corner you turned, there was something going on. A show going on over here. Somebody's signing autographs here. Somebody's singing over here. They're reenacting a, a, a Jedi uh, a lightsaber fight over here. So it, that's what I'm saying. It's a good experience. It's it's a really good experience, you know, for families to go. And, you know, it, it you know it's at the end of the day, I, I'm not knocking it. I just, on my end, if I was to go as, as a... As a buyer, I, I don't know how I would want to go. Yeah. So I, it's not for that. It's, it's it's not for buying. It's not for collectors. It's for ex, for the experience. It's, uh, no, that's not, why it's expensive, not necessarily. I I, it, it, as, as I mentioned, I'm I'm speaking for myself because I'm looking at it. I'm going. I would like to go to buy vintage, but buy certain pieces that I'm specifically that I'm looking for. No, because there's a lot of vendors, but it's for mm-hmm. new. So you can be a collector. Oh, there's a lot of vendors. Yeah. But but for new stuff like. Mm-hmm. It, not 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 necessarily not for collectors for maybe for for vintage collectors because inside the 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 collectors there's and we talked about this maybe there's levels that maybe there's like not necessarily levels but but are sections or uh factions let's put it that way it's a faction of vintage and then inside that faction of vintage there's extra um factions like mint card loose graded 
and then you have another bigger faction which is you know uh, uh newer uh and then phone call like there's a lot of factions <laughs> as, as collectors so when you focus on a niche it's it's really especially on vintage start to get in very very hard mm -hmm. to find the the pieces that that you want for your collection mm -hmm. uh i could have I could probably find some GI Joes that I'm missing, a couple of small figures, you know, like like fifteen to twenty, maybe thirty dollars a figure that I'm probably missing for Ninja Turtles and all that. But I don't see myself paying sixty dollars for an entrance fee, and then parking, and then parking, maybe like and, another and all 40, that, and, yeah. then, and then just to maybe go to find it. like if I go to a vintage, which I would love to go, for example, to the Chicago Toy Show. Oh, yeah. Or the Great Ohio Toy Show, but the Great Ohio Toy Show, or the yeah, is like six or seven. Uh, what is it called? Like warehouses, warehouses like of only vintage. Mm -hmm. So see, that, that's I, see, I I'll, I'll prefer to pay a, a a plane ticket, hotel or Airbnb, whatever, and then the fee, and then just but but I know there's gonna be freaking warehouses like mm -hmm. it's just like. Like like a big warehouse full of vintage, and then another. So it's just. I mean, and you've done it already with Paracon. That's a perfect example. Paracon, you know, we we know Paracon is vintage. It's mainly vintage. That a lot of good stuff. You buy but, a plane ticket. Yeah. You went out there, and that's what I'm saying. And I was willing to do the same but, thing because I even bought a ticket. I feel like Paracon. Now that I see, like the way that I see it, I think Paracon is somewhere between, I would say, Comic Palooza, and the Chicago Toy Show, something like that. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's somewhere in between, because they also have. Uh, cosplaying, they mm -hmm. have panels, but they also have a lot of vintage, and like so, so it's, it's somewhere. In, I feel like it falls in, in some somewhere in between those two type of events. So I like PowerCon, but I feel like I will feel more, I will feel more at home on uh, oh, the yeah. Great the, Ohio on the Great Ohio Toy Show and, and the Chicago Toy Show. Uh, those are the ones that I will prefer to pay a pay. A, Plane ticket and, and, and a, yeah yeah no. But I'm, you guys, but you guys always have in mind to buy stuff. Couldn't you just go because because it's the community because something that that, that is not it, it's only it's only with the intention to buy stuff. To, that's that's to the where? idea. Oh, of you just guys. in general. You talking about in general? Yeah, right? in general. Yeah. Twenty twenty show. Yeah, he's, no, like he's. I, I I I know what you're asking. I know exactly. I mean, me personally, I I don't know. I, I don't know how to answer that. I think I think I would be I more. I think I I would be more. That I want to go, I would. I like to look, but I do want to. I have that in my mind that I want to buy something. I, I can't leave without something in my hand. I, I know. I know. What, I know how to answer. Like, I, you can go as for like the the camaraderie, the, mm -hmm. the, the but you always have the pocket ready. You always have because you have to. You you're you're always hoping to buy something. In, and that's just, what happens what happens if you don't like you feel bad you feel I, like, you I feel, feel bad it I, I once went to the it was on Pasadena I don't know I don't even remember the, the name of the show but it was pretty expensive then it was like $50 and I was like oh shoot and then I I walked it over and then I I didn't buy anything and I was like I was pretty disappointed because I was like I, I think I think that I experienced that uh, with the that was uh, there's another show that that happens here. She's I think it's comic um collector con or collector con or something like that. Retro. No, no collector con. It's, it's some collector con. Collector con, right? So it's more for of a uh, CG. Yeah. That's okay. Yes. Yeah, so, so I when I went to that, I thought there was gonna be some vendors, and there were some vendors, but even those vendors weren't even selling vintage. They were actually selling what the show was was there for. Is Pokemon. I like Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, I'm not in the market right now to be buying Pokemon. I'm, that's not my niche right now. So it was a lot of Pokemon, a lot a lot of anime. I really went, I went more so to also to submit some figures for CES. I remember, I remember. Man, I, and I think I told my experience, like, man, I, I couldn't wait to get out of that show. Because it was, it was packed for one. There was a big <laughs> panel. But I walked around a few, a few, I did a few circles and there was nothing that interests me. I like. I'm I'm out of here. Like yeah, and, and and I think the entrance was like maybe like fifty, sixty bucks to get in. I'm like, oh man, like I spent this much money and there was really nothing for me to. When it comes to, and I I think we've talked about it before. When when it comes to to the collection, for some reason the mentality changes because 
you can spend a good money for for a dinner with the family with your wife and you're not be counting how much you spend on on that dinner but when it comes to collection the collection as far at least this goes for me if 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 i go to a, to a convention or a show i include the money that i spent to get there as part of the mm -hmm. collection money like the monito money <laughs> monito money so i could have used that money to buy a figure instead of just the paying the fee the entrance fee now if i go to the chicago toy show and i have to put that plane ticket and the airbnb as part of the monito money is like as inside my budget so it just feels like yes i can go for the experience but as well but it's it, it feels it feels weird so if i go and I spend for an entrance fee fifty dollars and then i ended up not buying anything it's like it's like i just gave fifty dollars away without any that, figure that you could have bought something with. yeah i could have yeah. bought something with mm -hmm. those fifty dollars so like, pretty much just he, we we're saying that our intentions is to go and buy something And sometimes we don't know what some of these vendors may. There might there may be a diamond in the rough that we're like, oh wow, he actually has this accessory that is super hard to find. That's the only thing that sometimes intrigues me of of a vendor of a of a of a vintage vendor. Um, they might have something that we don't know that you know, like nobody knows that they had it, and and we just show up. That, that happened to you at a at a. At uh, what Houston, uh, the Houston Collector Show, when you found the, some parts. I, I was gonna mention that when you when you started saying that, I was gonna I was gonna say that. And that show is it's a free entry. It's free entrance, yeah. And the vendors is for is for free the table, mm -hmm. so everything is free. It's, 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 it's uh, one of the local guys put it together. Yeah, shout out Dennis. Dennis, and it's a uh, man. It's a pretty cool show. It's yeah. been a while since this. Yeah, yeah. He, I, I talked to him. He said eventually someone's gonna you know he's so gonna we'll, and we'll when it again. pops up yeah because he kind of he kind of worked well, he was doing it like. Almost every other month. Yeah, every other month or something like that. So, and imagine, like, it was a free a free entry event. And that's where I found one of the most rarest mm -hmm. uh, pieces for, for, a, for a play set. One of the rarest pieces of a, of a uh, filmation yeah. Ghostbuster uh, play set. And so I didn't pay the, the fee, and I, I feel like I, I found gold there. Yeah. So you never know. You never know. And, and that's and that's what I'm getting at. If anything, that's the only thing that would drive me to want to go. But at the same time, I would be bummed out if I walk out like, man, there's nothing. There's nothing here. I've paid all this money. And yeah, it, it is a little bit of sour taste in your mouth when you're like, oh, man, like I just spent all this money for what? Mm. But if you're if you're always focused on buying stuff, isn't there something you're missing? Or is it, you just care about the collection? That's it. No, because everybody's different. And I feel like... Some people do like meet with celebrities and like to sign to sign their the stuff and take pictures and all mm -hmm. that. Oh yeah. Me personally, I'm not a, I'm not like that. I'm not I'm not nothing wrong with it. It's just me. I'm not like that. So I'm not gonna be there to cosplay. I'm not gonna be there to hear a panel. I'm not gonna be there to wait for 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 get a signature or a picture. So if I'm gonna go to a show for me, it's I enjoy going to 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 shop. To 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 okay. look and, for figures. Yeah, and and some so some and that and even in that in that world, it it there's levels to it. people. People actually go and get signatures so they can resell it as well. They, it's, it's not just for them to put in their collection. They also do a lot. There's a lot of people that do reselling when it comes to autographs, when it comes to pictures, when it comes to you know autographing the action figure that they have. They may keep it in the collection. Like this one guy came to my booth and he's like, oh man, look, look, look what I got. And he got a pretty good amount of good like signatures of Back to the Future on, on uh, and, and this, uh, Super Nintendo games, things like that. I'm like, man, uh -huh. dude, that, that's awesome. He's like, yeah, this this is this right here is going to be for my for my retirement. So they're already thinking about things like that, you know, and I'm like, okay, fine, that's fine. You know, that that's that's his niche. That's that's what he likes to do. Then that's fine. I mean, nothing wrong with that. But everybody goes for different reasons. And. I think I think one thing that me and Ulysses can agree on is when we go, I, I'm like that's why I said I would never ever go to a show with empty pocket. Never, I would never do that. But, that's another that's another yeah. reason why I didn't want to go. 
Because <laughs> I had a, I have, I have, I have an empty pocket right now. So, so yeah, because you just never know. Uh, you know, you, what if you do find that piece? And that's that's the, that's the only thing that would drive me to be curious to be like, is it worth spending fifty bucks for the entrance or sixty dollars? Is it worth it? But what if I find a piece that's I could maybe the seller might even know, vendor might even know what it is and I could get it for ten bucks and it's worth two hundred and fifty dollars. It's it's all that stuff goes through my mind and that's what since I put my pros and cons together, I'm like, man, you know what? I'll just pull the trigger and I'll go. Yeah. But then when you don't get what you you come out bummed out like it, 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 it's it almost like stretching lottery ticket. Like you're hoping you might, you know, get that get that jackpot. And that's and why then, you're trying to go to the biggest show where mm -hmm. you can get more opportunities to find cool stuff. Yeah. Um. Oh man, how do you feel the complete? Uh, well, it's not a complete uh, uh, deviation from the subject, but uh, uh, what do you think about today's market, man? Like, well, I well, feel I feel weird. Let me let me let me before before I before you answer, I feel weird because since uh, I haven't gotten anything in the past couple of weeks. <laughs> like I feel weird. Like I feel. I feel like I feel like I left. That's, collection. that's, why, that's why he looks drained, guys. That's so. Yeah, that's like like, that's why he lost. He lost his powers. That's why he took, took a toll. <laughs> the, took a toll of my body, man. Yeah, like, the, the ankle knows. I, I, knows yeah, the ankle, the ankle and the body is, yeah. is like you need hey, to go back. That sound like addiction or what? <laughs> <laughs> see, see, my body I can feel it. You're having withdrawal symptoms. Nah, exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> uh, it's withdrawals, man. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel weird because I do. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I've been trying to sell some doubles, uh, but it's tough out you, there. But you did pretty good. So the thing, this is kind of going back to the show because, of course, you know I. I have to be in what 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 the market what the current market is asking for, mm. you know, and and I'm always up to date with it as best as possible because it does change. So today's market, I mean, there are some high end buyers, but honestly, there's not as much as there used, they used to, to be. right? Yeah, I mean, and and I could tell you from experience at the toy show, I, I mean, at the comic palooza that that I did, I mean, I sold volume, but you know, there's some high end piece ahead and. People, people were salivating over it. They're, oh, my God, you know, but they wouldn't pull the trigger. And yeah. I was like, you know, if that was me and I'm yeah, yeah acting yeah. like a fanboy. We want to say over this figure, I'm I'm pulling the trigger. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, if you find it. Yeah, if you may bargain, whatever, whatever, but you're still going to try to walk away with it or at least at least try to. Yeah. But some of these people, I mean, as cool as the, as the piece was, you know, and and. You know, this goes with the other vendors. You know, other other vintage vendors came to our booth, asked us how we're doing. You know, and pretty pretty much said the same thing. They're like, "Yeah, man, like nobody's really trying." Asking to. If, if if they're the only ones struggling or yeah, well, not so much struggling because like I said we we are we were selling in volumes. That's the thing. You're selling thirty dollar pieces, fifty dollar pieces, maybe a hundred dollars. But when you when you hit that, when you're reaching five hundred, a thousand, you know, you don't you don't no. you really don't see anybody i nobody that i've seen spent that kind of money so i was honestly with a big show like this i was expecting a little bit more in that mm. and that uh and that level you want to say that yeah but i mean even even at the store as well people buy in volumes but they don't it's it's very hard to try to find somebody to find to to want to pull the trigger on a high, and, and it's not that you're trying to make money i mean it's that's it's a cool piece it's yeah, a, yeah it's worth that that's what the market is asking for but i, I don't know if it's today's i mean we talked about it, today's economy i don't know if that's what it is but i mean yeah today's market i think it's still still a little soft there's still some people out there that are buying you know I, i'm not saying there's not but of course i would love it to be more of course we, we would yeah. everybody would because then i think if that was the case a lot there'll be a lot of more trading a lot more buying a lot more hey you know we, we could swap collections we could start a new collection whatever the you know the purpose is for for trying to get rid of the piece but yeah i mean like, like i said it's i was expecting a little bit more on that on the high end side of things but i was making my money by selling low mm -hmm. end but in volumes yeah yeah so no it's, that's good that's good i, I mean it's still I mean, it's good that is that 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 you were able to to to, to do your profit to yeah, yeah. To, to get out of you know with with uh yeah what I not, not with red numbers exactly but um also it was good business 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, of course, but I, I mean, pro- but when you when you have it, because being that this is my first show, this was actually my first show vending. I've I've went based off. It's not your first show. It's just no, first well, big I'm, show. I'm sorry. Well, well, because you've been a lot of shows. Yeah, yes. I, okay. I, I, yeah, you're absolutely right. So first big show, which is Comic Palooza, the biggest show, you know, on, in Houston. So, you know, I I've heard stories and I expected a little bit more. My expectations were a little higher than. Than, than what what you know what happened over the weekend, not saying that I'm not a, I'm not upset about it. I'm not. I, I was happy with with what I took home with me. You know, it was a good amount of money, but I just I still, and this is where I kind of want to go revert to is. I would like to see you know more, and not just for me in general. Like I said, because I think the market needs it. We talked about you know making other people making more content YouTube, but. And we talked about it before too, and, and and at the show I talked to a couple of guys, some some big big uh, high end uh, Star Wars uh-huh. collectors, about the market, about how you know I think we talked about some of the toy lines that are gonna die with us, at you know, and and you know, I I hope the people are hearing this, you know, that let's <laughs> try to keep the market going, you know, let's try to. It's keep- not it's not always it's not necessarily we were talking about how some lines mm-hmm. will die with a collector with the age of the yeah but some franchises i'm sorry mm-hmm. but within some franchises the lines too so i feel like or oh, i don't know if if the vintage is gonna keep up going up you know what i mean mm-hmm. so maybe some of those figures have reached their max possibly or, or whenever it, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just... I mean, the thing about it is, is it's just like what we always say. If we would have known back then when we bought Turtles from Toys R Us or from KB Toys or other other local stores, if we would have known these these figures, let's say, let's say there were some other covers at KB Toys and, oh, yeah. let's just get them and play with them and do away with them. If we would have known what they were going to be costing nowadays, well, we had kept them, of course. If we would have yeah. kept them and sealed them. Every, 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 but everybody would have and and so them. And so what I'm saying is, is we don't know what it's gonna what's gonna happen but i mean to me i try to foresee it and and yeah i mean it's us teaching our kids i guess and it's not just so much about buying it's just keeping the franchise alive Mm. to keep it relevant and and i i I think i was talking about we talked about super seven made like uh silver hawks but Mm -hmm. have they made a cartoon of it like do kids know what it actually is no we were talking about in the the last podcast in spanish with Mm -hmm. macarena Mm -hmm. We're talking about that, right? So, so Super Seven made Silverhawks figures, hmm. but then who did they make it for? For the kids or for the adults who watched the show? Yeah, because they didn't do a, a reboot of the show and like that. It's mm-hmm. just they just they just they just went for yeah. new figures. So to me, it tells me that it's a toy made for, already for for an old for an old guy for, adults, for, for yeah. a collector. So. But what happened? Like those figures, most likely they they're gonna die with the collector. Like so yeah, if, if the franchise is not, it's not it's not active on, on a on a show mm-hmm. per se. Yeah, so so that that's that's what I'm saying. You know, to the people out there, you know, let's let's keep on trying to drive and 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 teach the kids, teach them while they're young. I mean, I'll tell you what, and I I like I like to I like to see things. You know, when things I, I always. Yeah. I always, you know, try to look like I said, body language, all that. So when I was when I was at the show vending, um, you know, I see the the adults, you know, trying to tell the kids, look, it, it's it was it's like it was backwards. Instead of the adult telling the kid, come on, let's go, let's go, it was the kid telling the adult, come on, let's go, let's go, let's yeah, go to the m- Funko booth. The Funko, yeah. And nothing wrong with the Funko. I mean, nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, you know, for us vintage collectors, you know, it it it, it, it kind of hurt me. I'm like, oh man, like that sucks. <laughs> like. Hold on, little kid. Let let let, let the man enjoy his, yeah. his 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 youth. You know, back in the days. But and he tell they'll try to tell the story. Oh, you know, back in the day. Like, okay, okay, come on, dad, let's go over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and we're gonna miss this. And oh, look at this plushie. I want to go get this plushie or the anime. And I'm like, oh man. So you know, they really try to enjoy the the moment, but then all they just snap out of it and it just move. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, move they, on. They, and they they came with the family. They have to stay with family. Yeah. And so and so, but but then but then there were some. It wasn't like that. There were some people that the, some some parents that came and oh, they started showing their son and the son like wow, that's cool. Like there was a couple. Believe it or not, there was a a, a handful of people. 
out of so many people we had in the booth, there was a handful of people that that were actually kids that were interested, younger than than Isa, yes. Uh huh. Interested in vintage. They knew about Transformers, G ones. Wow. I like okay, that's. And you know, and and the when you see that, like you want to talk to them more about it, so to keep them, you know, yeah, yeah. and and yeah, they were interested. Of course, they didn't have the the funds for it, but it's just to talk about it, like I said, it doesn't mean you have to buy. It's just yeah, talking but, about it and and making sure that that there's some there are some people out there that that are you know kids that are willing to that do like the the line or or that figure or you know so that that was that was nice to see. I I like seeing that. I like uh you know where. These, these, you know, these young guys and and not, I didn't really didn't see any girls, but more so, you know, because yeah, you know. Do but. you think? Do you think we've entered uh, a place of of ridiculous prices on on vintage? A lot of people complain or even laughing when sometimes you go to to one of those Facebook groups and somebody posts a. Uh, a, bl a black belt mm -hmm. for like you know for a, a carded black belt for a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred and everybody some some people start laughing like ah mm -hmm. why is that expensive or have we entered to a to a, I mean I know the market I mean the people mm -hmm. if there's people paying for it they I mean, wouldn't pay for it but but so but it's not a what, what you, like, so I, I think I think I I think it was in Macarena's um podcast that we did with her. I don't know. I think you're the one that brought it up, and it was or she did. I don't know, but it was like a real good point that they that one of y'all made where we think the pandemic. I think you did make that mm -hmm. make that that uh that notion that the pandemic actually fast forwarded too quick yeah. and made the 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 toy. The action figure, you know, go up in value when it should. It should have been, you know. It should have been gra more gradually. Yeah, gradually, gradually. So, I, it's it, it, but it was, what sounds crazy is that the pandemic actually got people to collect more. That's so it's it's like because people were bored at their, their home. Yeah, yeah, right? but, but that's what kind of it, it's like a balance because AFA, CAS, they actually got so overwhelmed with people sending and submitting. Uh, things to get graded it's like they had they had to stop they had to do like certain tiers and this and that. they started doing all kinds of different things to make sure they could See, keep it, up it was yeah it was over and i think it, to a point where afa wasn't even doing any loose figures and they, they always did star yeah, wars yeah. but at, to that point they even stopped doing star wars they were only doing carded anything carded or box that was it that's all they were grading so it it, it got to a point where a lot of these collectors but at the same time i th i think now we're starting to see a little bit of that we think we believe the hype and we think the hype's going to stay there. Mm -hmm. And then we, we, we're starting to see it kind of dwindle down a little bit. We're like, okay, so it was hype then or did people really want this? Yeah. Is, is, was it really worth this much? People that were actually buying maybe at that time, they bought it at a high end price and now they're seeing like, you know, it's starting to come down and I'm pretty sure it hurts a little bit. It hurts. It hurts. It happened to me in a couple of figures that I sold. Uh, some of them I did make profit even though I gave him a good price because I got him a good price. But there was figures that I couldn't sell for the life of me. Maybe I was, if I, if I were more patient, I would have sold them, but I was just kind of like need them to, to mm -hmm. move them quick. And with people that I know that they're, they're interested in all that. And I, I couldn't, I couldn't get those figures out for, for, uh, for, it was a fair price at the end of the day, but I, for the price that I thought it was going to be. Mm hmm. So I'm like, hmm. So I was the only <laughs> pendejo <laughs> buying at a, you know, like at a, at a market value. No, because not they, always. Because not you all, just, no, most you of just, the time, most of the times, so yeah. But you said it yourself at the market. You bought it at market value at that yeah. time. So it's not. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're the only one to feel that way. At um, I'm trying to think if I sold anything to date that I bought that was really high end and I've. I I think I think everything that I bought that's been pretty much high end on my end, I've held on to it. I haven't sold it just yet. No. So I'm holding on to it. Um, I sold a couple of high end figures, but I made I did make money off of them. But I mean, you just have to find that one guy. I said they're they're out there, but 
patience is is key because yeah yeah, yeah. since yeah. i was just i just needed a couple of extra brocks for 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 a figure for a sandwich or something or? and then later on for a sandwich yes <laughs> so i had to i had to to move him a little bit you know quick and yeah i mean some of them i did profit some of them i was like i broke even. you're gonna win some and you're gonna lose some man it it, hey, it, it but, is what but, it is but i will look back to the mat to the market value i'm like i cannot just seems ridiculous that I'm selling this for the price that I, mm-hmm. I at once was. Sometimes people uh, on say today like, market. Even if you break even, it would be nice. But sometimes that you're gonna lose. And and, that, and and I don't have a problem with it because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, I already I already enjoy the figure. I already yeah. had it with me. I already. So. Uh, so whatever. it doesn't it, it doesn't grow some resentment on on that when when that happens to you that you buy something high end price and then you have to sell it because life. It does it does it grow a resentment or, or mm. even on the line or the figure or anything? Does it grow any? If you need to sell it, I feel like if it is, if it is the market value, you have to make peace with it. Because if you when when I if I bought it when the time that I bought it that when I buy it, it was a higher market value. I bought it for for the price that it was right. And then if the market came down. And if I sell it a market value, I, as long as I don't sell it on their value, on their market value, I feel like that's fine. I don't, I don't feel, I don't feel bad or anything like that. Yeah, I wouldn't resent it. I, I just because resent is such a, such a harsh word for something that you enjoy yeah. doing. Why would you want to resent something that for that? Because at the end of the day, like I said, it's a hobby. I mean, yes, yes. Once you start getting like, you know, big amounts of money into it, yeah, you, you gotta watch what you're doing. And you're gonna watch what you're doing because you know you're not gonna spend just a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars on a piece that you just ah whatever okay I'll just buy it, you know. So, I mean you're gonna watch what you're doing, but I don't I think resentment wouldn't be the the word. You you'll probably be like man you know well on the next one I'll make sure it just you you gain you gain more knowledge. You try to start looking at the market a little bit more, and you know from experience that I that I hear people going through and I, I'm gonna say I could I could be honest on what not. That I'm a vendor one at a times, and there's times that I I actually lose, but I never lost on a high end. I've lost like on common stuff, common figures, where I probably bought it for thirty bucks, and I end up making twenty dollars on it, mm-hmm. make fifteen bucks. But th- but then there's times that you buy a, a a common figure that I bought it for ten dollars and I made thirty bucks. So then that kind of makes me feel like okay, I'm a little relieved now. It kind of balances out. Yeah, yeah, you balance it out when yeah, it comes to that. Yeah. yeah, you balance it out. And so, and so, yeah, you just gotta, but when it comes to high end pieces, you know, there can, there can never be, in my, okay, this is my opinion, there can never be a time that you should, you should lose unless, unless it's, it's an emergency. And we talked about it, like your a relative is passing away and you need the money, you just need the money ASAP. Then, yeah, you're gonna have to sell these pieces, you know, to, and people will buy. I mean, people, if, People are willing to buy, but it has to be at a, at a stupid amount where they'd be like, "I'll be stupid not to buy it." So, mm-hmm. let's say you could sell a thousand dollar figure. <laughs> that's, for- how, that's how that's how I got a <laughs> one of the figures that I sold immediately right after that. It was too too st- stupidly cheap to let it go. Uh huh. I'm like, and then I immediately after I bought it, I'm like, "Why did I buy it? Why did I buy it? <laughs> like, let me let me just." And then I sold it immediately right after that. But but yeah. He sounds uh, like a reseller to me, so yes, I don't yeah, know. That with that piece, yeah, with that piece. <laughs> but he's not a reseller. I, I, I didn't buy it with that I didn't buy it, I didn't buy it with that intention. He should open up a one. I I, 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 I keep say I keep saying once you buy with an intention to resell, you're a reseller. When I bought it, I one hundred percent thought I was gonna keep it. And then but then he, he sold it immediately. <laughs> yeah, because after I got it, I was like, ah oh, no, I don't need yeah. it. Whatever. Yeah, time time <laughs> is passing, and we're hearing stories about some a lot of sales you've but you've done. So, yeah. No, yeah, uh, most, of, not not most of it. <laughs> everything <laughs> everything that I've sold has been doubles. So yeah, Carl Carlos says that I'm a reseller. Like, well, I'm I mean, not, so I, I what, what, what's your take on it? You you just said it yourself. What what, what are you hearing? Um, no, if 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 we're gonna talk about this seriously, I don't believe he's a reseller. No, I I guess, I guess that. I I've learned from you guys that it's part of having uh, of having a collection that some things have to go, and uh, I don't consider that a, a reseller. 
But yeah. Whatever. Yeah, see? Hater. No, no, no. Oh, Hater my Carlos. God. Once again, he says, yes, she's the Yuli side. Oh, oh wow. It was uh, you. I uh, hate her, Carlos. <laughs> see, Carlos, nobody follows your, 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 your crazy. But is it, isn't it like, like a part of being a collector? Is, is, is it something to be like afraid of being? No, but no, nothing wrong with I it. just don't. I just say that I am not a reseller. <laughs> okay. And Carlos wants me to accept that I'm a reseller. <laughs> you know how that goes. He's like, yes, yes. But I'm not. I'm, I, I don't consider my uh, being a reseller. No, I mean, I mean, no, because at the same time, like I do, I do, I do agree with people's collections change. Yeah. You know, if you want to buy a whole new line, you're gonna have to sell your line because unless you want to just keep it and, and spend money, you know that that you you know if you want to get into that collection, spend you know some more money, then that's fine. That's by all means, however you want to do it, but. A lot of guys that I know, including myself, including Ulysses, they resell some of their collection or most of the line to get into another line that, you know, and that's how you start evolving in your collection because you know exactly what you're looking for now. Because when you first start, which I went through the same stage, I just started buying like crazy. And then I had like one figure, like one G.I. Joe, one He-Man, one this, one this one. I'm like, why do I have so many? And I'm not even, I'm not <laughs> even complete. So that's how you start learning. Like, okay, let, let me have a little bit more patience of how I want to collect. Let me figure out how I want to collect. You know, I never did it like Ulysses did, but I think he did a real smart way of, of actually taking a screenshot of, of what the line consists of and starts, you know, scratching, scratching out what, and I never kept, and honestly, I need to do with a battle beast. I think that would be a perfect, <laughs> okay. I, I need to do, because battle beast that's, is, this, that's the only way that you can, you can, like yeah. I did that with G.I. Joe with the battle beast. Mm -hmm. With Star Wars, with the vast, yeah, with the vast line, with yeah, the big line, it's uh, it's it's hard to keep uh, keep to keep, keep on track on, uh, uh, but just by memory on which ones you mm -hmm. have and all that, exactly, because you can you can remember the main characters, but there's a lot of characters like there's no way that you're gonna yeah. remember if you have it or not, or if you have it complete or not, if you mm -hmm. have like, s s yeah. So I mean, that's that's uh, like I say the collections change. So I I mean, but I, I still don't agree with them. Is there any uh, content creator that has documented how his, his collection has changed or the this world is too new in, in YouTube and, co and content creating? It, ha is that I know, but th there should be some people that... But I'm saying, have you seen it? Because I don't know if I have. Mm, no. Uh. I just, if anything, I've seen content creators that, that talk about a new line they want to get into, but they never really get into the, 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 the you know, the specifics of... Okay, I'm, I'm selling. I'm gonna sell this piece, and I'm gonna sell this piece to get this piece. You know, nobody really, and that's kind of interesting what he said. That we never seen no content like that, so maybe uh, that'd be pretty cool. There's a few. There's a few that I, I think uh, they not they don't necessarily say, "Oh, I'm evolving my collection," but the, just the way that they, the things that they buy on their content over the years, you see, like this is not the same as five years ago. You know, three years ago, two years ago. Uh, you can see them evolving, but not necessarily. The video is gonna say my my collection is evolving. They, you know. Oh, no, see. but 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 I, but it, I think that'd be a pretty cool. I think that would would be a pretty cool thing because I haven't seen where a person's actually but, going through it. And, like, and you're actually I, living I feel it like it's, it's it's healthy to evolve in your your collection. Like I feel mm -hmm. like everything that that stays uh stays still for 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 a while. At the end of the day, is gonna you know stink you know so I even within the collection just moving pieces to another shelf and all that kind of helps helps you give it a, a like a stir it up like stir it up a little bit like you gotta you know, keep it relevant yeah because i feel like like at some point just just gets same of the same right so if you're not buying new lines at least you move it up a little bit on the display uh I i've done a couple of shelves changes and all that but but and everything that I every time that I do, I go back and look at the shelf. And I'm like, oh man, it looks it looks better in this. Mm -hmm. It probably looked the same in the other one, but just to me, <laughs> yeah, to change it, it's it's part of probably evolving or I don't know. It's just the change, just to not stay still. I in think the same it's thing. Well, like you're saying, staying active, staying mm -hmm. active with your collection, even though you're not buying and you're moving shelf, it may even get you. It could do all kinds of things. It can make you want to. Hey, you know what? I need I need to continue. I need I, this line is still not complete. Let me let me start looking for 
start completing this line if if it's not complete or hey you know what maybe i need to buy more acrylic stands to display better i mean if you stay active you're always going to find something that your collection needs to upgrade or to evolve we want to say that or to be like you know what i don't even i have no use i, I haven't even touched this collection this this shelf let me get rid of this i think i want to get into this now when uh, when Ar ariel sold you his ham he let go that line he's he's not he's not doing muscle much anymore uh i don't think he's buying anymore I think he still has muscle but muscle. he still has a has the one he has the the four dogs oh okay. like the yeah yeah oh yeah I, I was gonna mention that maybe that's one of the examples of someone taking a step away from he made from a, a he made a conscious decision that's why i kind of started telling him because i heard him in a, in a conversation that we had he says like I already gave up on the, on on this line, and this happens to, to to many of us. Maybe not because of the rarity of the species, but maybe because it's too it's too vast, it's too big, or or you just I was I was collecting Dragon Ball, but I was collecting uh, the SH figures, and then I decided to go a little more like the all vintage, take it away. So so I, I it's the same franchise, but I decided to to sell the Dragon Ball that I had. To buy the new the the vintage Dragon Ball, so you either evolve you you but I feel like he, oh I'm sorry let me go back to that he made a conscious decision like I'm done with muscle mods like I'm not gonna complete the line and he's a completeness complete yeah completeness yeah he's a completeness so it means that he has to complete all the lines that he collects and since the dogs and uh, I mean the cats and all that those are super super uh, almost impossible to find. He I just, think that's what that's what you know. He says of. he says I just give up. I I, I give up on that, and well, he decided to trade me with the, and it benefited you. And at the yeah. day he got he got you know he's he's his he other got, line not, is, is TMT, so he got he got some he got really good turtle fire. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he got some really good turtles. So it, at the end of the day, I think it worked out for both of them because you know that that honestly I think that encouraged Ulysses to. Go even further deep into into muscle months mm -hmm. and start buying you no know, print. That was one of the, 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 the it was kind of like at the same time, but one of his uh, not this um, one of his conditions was if you find the cats, I'll sell you the Sam. I, I'll consider sell, selling you the Sam. So I'm like maybe I not when I saw all the products, I was like oh, okay maybe not the Sam, not the cats. But if I get all these prototypes and I get all of this from this line, maybe maybe it's kind of like an he equivalent. Might consider, yeah. and, and he did. I'm like, that's, that's pretty cool. And I appreciate that. So, yeah, that's, that's awesome. So I have a, a pretty, is it still incomplete? But I think the, the, as, the, as complete as, as, as it's going to be. Yeah. I never seen a, a for the muscle mud. Yeah, muscle mud uh, as much as a complete line as, as the one that Yuli has. I mean, there might be there might be some out there. I don't know, but you know, as, as we talked about from, from I have some some pieces, from, it, some private collectors we talked about. You know, we don't know what they may have, but as of right now, I I never seen anybody have a a, a muscle mud line like Yuli's. So I mean, it's pretty rare. Cool, you know, it's cool cool to see actually damn near every every week. So. I mean, yeah, and I think they like say benefited both of them. I mean, I know I'm pretty sure Adair's happy with his black belts. I know he's been wanting them, and he got them. He had to wait for the grading. He got all that. Everything was pretty much handed to him. So everybody, it worked out. for Yeah, everybody, everybody won. Yeah, every, that's what I say. Everybody it worked out for everybody. I think it was it was a mega trade, and uh, everybody, you know, did, did good on that one. So, guys, and I, uh, I want to mention something. Coming back to to the first stop, one of the first topic you talked about of. of uh, people of lines that are gonna die because because of the collectors are getting old do you think that that is a spe that is a specific lines or is a complete thing about collection do you think collection is something that's gonna no leave? i think collection is gonna is gonna continue live on mm -hmm. there will be people that's gonna want to follow their parents their dads or their mom's uh hobby or passion what I think is some of the lines, some of, some specific franchises that are, that that were never kept active, uh, like and we mentioned some of them, like Brave Star. I love Brave Star mm -hmm. when I was a kid. I still love it. It was so cool. 
but they've never done a reboot of the cartoon or a movie or they haven't they don't have anything planned for it uh silverhawks i've always i've this one since i was a teenager i was always thinking uh, so i was always you know within the the 3d production and mm -hmm. film production and all that and i always like wanted to to somebody take on the silverhawks uh, uh movie or yeah, do something with reboot it. or li live action or something like that. And I think silver. Honestly, I think a, a, a movie of Silverhawks would be. I awesome. think Silverhawks is, has like a lot of potential. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a anything Star space. Wars. Yeah, anything space mixed with type. Thundercats, mixed with like it's it's got a, like a pretty cool storyline. I guess it's I I I think honestly, if somebody were to actually make a movie of Silverhawks. I think yeah, I think, I think it would be cool. pretty cool. Yeah, I think so. With not with today's technology, I mean yeah, and but still nobody jumps on it. So I feel like those lines that and then control like versus the ones that stay active. Like we have Ghostbusters that they recently mm -hmm. got a movie out, and now we're planning. A, uh, they they have a normal movie coming out. And then, then we have uh, Ninja Turtles, with new movies, with new projects, new series. Yeah. So there's, there's those, those toy lines. I don't believe that they're gonna die. Okay, let me give you an example. What do you think? I mean, I don't know if it's gonna come out, but they said. So do you think a new movie like Biker Mice? You heard about Biker Mice, right? I've so heard. Do you, do you think that's gonna revive the franchise where it's gonna, it's gonna bring them back on it top? It depends. Or? It depends how how. How they it's just gonna it has to be something very well done. Mm -hmm. It has to be very well done. Well, what, what's what, the next what, because it has to be for kids and adults. Mm -hmm. So you cannot do an R rated movie because yeah. only adults will see it, and then those who will see it is the people that already know about him. Yeah. So you have to make it a kids friendly, like the Ninja Turtles did, mm -hmm. to involve uh, to bring new the newer generation. Yeah. So. But if you do it too kids friendly, the the fan, the original fans are gonna complain about it. That's what I'm saying. Like you have to do a very well done movie. And that's what I'm saying. I think I think to me it's it's difficult because it's you difficult because you have to capture yeah the the old audience with the new audience, mm -hmm. and that's that, that, I, that's something's hard to do. Yeah, I, that's what I think. I I think it's you know people just think just slapping a movie together and and let's take it out there. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna work. I mean, look what happened with He Man when He Man came out with the movie. I mean, the kind of franchise went down a little bit, and that, and that, and, and that was, that was when He Man was, yeah, it was that was, it was, was actually He Man, yeah. And so that's why I was like, mm, man, things could, things like that could really hurt a, 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 franchise, a franchise, a franchise instead and, of helping them. Yeah, and so I mean, that, what other movies can we say that 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 happened pretty much what, what like what happened to He Man? Well. Where, uh, uh, like Knights of the Zodiac or or or, or Saint Seiya or Caballeros uh -huh. of Zodiaco, they they've done a couple of tries on on movies and mm -hmm. I you know I didn't even know they did that. Yeah, it just but it was animated. It, like one, one, of it, one of it was last year, and it was it's, it's it's on Netflix and really I don't know if it still is on Netflix or what not. The but hell? I tried to watch it mm -hmm. and like I couldn't even finish it. Like, it was like so bad. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they tried to do it. Netflix. And what was the name of it? It was actually called that too. Knights of the Zodiac or something like that. Yeah. Uh, hmm. There's a movie and there was a, a a cartoon, like a reboot of the original cartoon. Both on Netflix and. Okay. No, nah, no. Nah. No. And I, 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 at least not for for us, the 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 older audience. Nah. And you guys personally, personally have lost any percentage of love for a line? That's something that has you have you have felt or not really? Oh, that's a good one. Hmm. Like uh, th let's say Silver Hawks that that you mentioned. They they haven't done anything in ages. Do you feel like a less of a? No, is? no, because the, the the nostalgia is too strong. Okay. If you watch, you could probably lose an interest on on. And this is where I where I feel like some people come from when they say like if you have if you didn't watch the 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 the, the cartoon you shouldn't be collecting i don't believe in that but i do feel like i will lose interest on a line that doesn't have the nostalgic factor mm -hmm. 
rather than one that I've actually saw when I was little. So no matter how many years pass, that memory of me watching Silverhawks or that memory of me watching uh, Brave Star, that's not going to, you know, that's not going to pass. So mm. I still, and that's why I, I tell some people don't watch the shows nowadays because some yeah. of them are like super slow and they're going to like. And it's, it's funny because people, people actually like guess that we had, I mean, I haven't heard what's, oh no, I watched it and everything. I, I fell in love with it again, the franchise. Now they're like, you know what we've seen? It's boring. Yeah, it's slow. boring because it's, it's made for kids. And I, then, I'm the only one that could tell you that I could watch Ninja Turtles. I and I, but and it's, still, it's not, it's not still, only, still. you're not the only one. I've heard a couple other people that, that the Ninja Turtles, it's one of those uh, cartoons that you can, you know, still watch. It's a little tacky, but it, it's, 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 they always have punchlines. They always have some, you know, something yeah, yeah. funny. And I think, I think if anything, that's what. It was very well made. It was very well made. Yeah. And, and, and I don't know. I, I feel like. No, you do not lose the 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 love for a toy line. I believe if you watched it, if you have that nostalgic collection. Mm -hmm. So, I um, you know that you know what what happened to me with with Marvel. I grew up watching Marvel, watching every movie every year uh, at the theater, all of that. But they started doing too much, and I lost love for it and i don't feel nostalgic as of now of those movies of 2008 2010. i don't think it was too much to I me i don't think that. it was too much because i will consume everything every movie everything that i that will come up i will still watch it it was just can you say the, well can you say that because there's there was change to I it i feel like there was a change of focus on that on that on those like change the characters change I of mean, if it's been it's been two years or, or a year and a half that i don't know anything. I just lost interest. But to be honest, it. It was, everything I that I, they they've come up in the last two years, they they they've said not it. only you, but it's just they lose mm. the the ratings are yeah, bad. And, and, it's not and, only and, you. Yeah, it's not you. Yeah, and I have so seen there, it. It's not it's not you, only you or me. Is they're doing something wrong. So the the mm. movie that movie of Deadpool Warrior is supposed to like bring the they're gonna be the, they're gonna be the reason why the MCU is gonna. Revive, back, yeah, revive because hopefully, hopefully they do something good with it and and, and they continue with that with yeah. that line because they try to go more like well, of course, of course, from there they're, they're saying it's gonna come to Secret Wars now from after that, so that's gonna be cool. The Secret War, they're uh, yeah, yeah that's when saying, you like, have like all pretty much mutants and and you know Avengers and all that, so it, it becomes a big old collision of of superheroes fighting one another, and that's what you want to see. I mean, but. Yeah, I agree with what you're saying. And what, yeah, exactly. The past two years, has been you know MCU kind of went down, and uh, I mean, yeah, it's like you know, I, I think I think some people are they're, they're, like we said, some people aren't ready for change. They're just not. And nah, but it was, it, good, was, but it, it was too too. It, it, it was too obvious of a change. It was too forced. It was uh, an ideology. It was more based on an ideology yeah. than an actual. I don't know. I don't know. It was, just, it was just weird. They nerfed a lot of characters to give other. I don't want to. I don't want to get into <laughs> the specifics, but yeah, but yeah. It, it was more. I mean, because they're following an, an ideology that not a lot of a lot of people. It's it agrees on that one. <laughs> and I feel like they want to shove it on your throat. That type of ide ideology and people notice and like. Fuck yeah, that. They, they, I don't, they, I don't, I don't they like that. Yeah, they were going. They were, they were buying. Not, it. They were not buying it. They were not going for it. And and they realize that. And hopefully, hopefully, this uh, Wolverine. Yeah, uh, supposed Deadpool. to be this movie is supposed to be. You know, they're supposed to revive the franchise. And I and I kind of do. I see it. I'm hoping it is because I mean, yeah, we. we I mean, us. I'm an MCU fan too. I, I like Marvel. I think who, mm. I don't know who doesn't. But um, the DC fans. But they're waiting. Well, I mean, they're they're hoping that. Uh, that that new Deadpool movie brings everything up, and that movie w wasn't in the MCU until until the purchase, until the until the merger. No, yeah, but but they're 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 prepping stuff like for the. I, I just heard the news. Maybe maybe it's fake news. Maybe it's I don't know real, but I've heard that that now the Wolverine of Hugh Jackman. It's also signed for the Secret Secret Wars mm -hmm. uh, movie. This, yeah. So they're trying to 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 link things together to keep the the vibe and the hi the hype going so it's a hype right now with you know wolverine versus deadpool but i think they're gonna ride that hype mm -hmm. take it to secret wars 
and hopefully they continue there from from there man, because Secret and, Wars is a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an awesome like storyline. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully they they do it right. Yeah, I, I, I've been waiting for a long time to X Men get into the MCU. I've, I've been waiting for that a long yeah, time. Yeah, that's the problem with well, the with the with, with those. Uh, well, fantastic because of Fox. And, yeah, yeah. Fox. They, 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 but now, now that you have Professor X come out on on at least Doctor Strange, which well, that was an okay movie, but th- you could say that was your first X Men. You could say you know um, Professor yeah. X when he came out. Yeah. Mm. So I mean, they, they, they little by little they're gonna start you know evolving them into it will bringing them into the storyline, and hopefully I mean hopefully become something good it's you know so hopefully hopefully yeah for the sake of the uh, of us the viewers and the fans <laughs> oh man um all right man we're gonna yeah i think you're falling asleep over here you man I, i'm tired my body's <laughs> tired but like i promise you guys i wasn't gonna we, we I, you, you can't even wait till sunday with your birthday you're already you're already crying like an old man dude come man, on man it's just you're it's making bad. me feel young i like it i like it <laughs> stay young stay young people stay active stay young but but people i'm telling you guys adults teach your young ones is it is it a little bit shocking to grow grow old is it a little bit shocking or it's shocking just, well, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's shocking it's shocking, it's shocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's shocking it's hard to how many things can hurt at the same time <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what's shocking you know? like my ankle my back my, my head oh my god like His what is, what is everything, going? I, everything everything Oil change. I need a <laughs> a knee a knee refraction, uh, like a, a knee um, replacement. Replacement. replacement yeah. I need uh, some. Oh man! Uh, hey, Nick, just put some Vicks on. You know, Vicks works yeah. for everything. Just put Vicks <laughs> on. Right. <laughs> like your mama used to do, right? Your mama used to rub there Vicks you on your chest. That's gonna fix everything. everything. We'll fix yeah. Yep. Yeah, man. I'm I'm honestly very very tired. My body's is tired. Well, uh, thanks for hanging in there, man. Nah, I, I know but, we're so but, close to not making this this stream. Man. I called you to you, dude. If you don't do this, I, I, ca- quit. I called you guys very last yeah. minute. He said, "Yeah, was asking me suggestions. It's gonna be a podcast. Like, I don't know. I don't know." <laughs> and it was in the morning. Is it gonna have a podcast? I don't know. Give me a couple extra hours. <laughs> and I very last minute. I was like, you know what? We, yeah, we, we pulled through. I mean, we like I said, we've done it sick. Remember, I was sick the other day, and now yeah, we, we just gotta pull through. And you know, for the people, and you know, just hopefully. Yeah, I just, I, uh, yeah. Hopefully, you can send some donations to Yuli. You know, <laughs> you know, the guy's poor. You don't have anything, well, guys. Uh, yeah. See. Well, I accept uh, birthday gifts. <laughs> I can, I can accept that. <laughs> but uh, all right, guys. So thank you, thank you so much yeah, for hanging out with us. Uh, truly appreciate it. Uh, you know, keep on collecting, keep guys. Keep on collecting. Subscribe to the channel. Comment, like, all of that. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Thank you.